Hey, this is Nicole Zerman with Mountain Hokey Artist. I am here today to show you how to make this X string quilt. I learned this awesome pattern from a swap group that I am in on Facebook. I will post the link down below so you can join if you'd like to. Um, and I apologize. I made this video short bursts and some pictures in between. Um, there is a bunch of black on my hands because I did some painting this weekend, so please disregard that. But um, my sewing area is super clean, and I just wanted to show you how to make this awesome block so you could make it into a quilt. Any questions? Make sure that you like and subscribe to this, and I'll make more helpful videos. So this is a great scrap project, so you can take all the little red scraps that you have and you don't have to precisely cut them or do whatever else not. You can make this any color way you chose. I just decided on red, white, and blue because my son wanted a quilt that was pretty patriotic. So you can just look through your scraps here and choose how you want to. Alright, so I'm going to choose um, one to put on the end here, lay it out flat. All right, then choose the next one and then put it towards each other. Just making sure that you get over on the edge on each side. All right, then you'll just sew like you normally do, quarter inch. Then when you're done, you have them like this. You can use a roller if you'd like to or just roll it over and just finger press it with your hand like that all right then you'll put the next one on I try not to use the same fabric twice in a row on the same string just because it, it'll give it a little bit of variance so go back over sew it again And then just open it up again and finger press it. And just depending on how big your squares are or how little they are, it really doesn't matter. There's no really pre-planning anything. Just kind of stick it on there, line it up, and run it on through. It's a great stash buster. It'll make it go real fast and easy. But you just do that along the way, and here's what the finished one will look like. Okay, so once you finish sewing your block, you're gonna wanna press it. You're just gonna wanna just run it down. Try to make it as flat as possible. And when you do that, it just makes it nice and flat, so when you turn it over to go cut it, it's a lot easier to deal with. So this is how you trim up your block. So you already know that your muslin is three and a half by 11. So you can just use that and cut along the sides. And make sure that it's even. And then come up the end here. Other side out. So you go from your just sewn and pressed to your then trimmed up block. Okay, so you're going to need to cut in one inch blocks to go on the sides of your X strings. So what I'd like to do is fold your material out, measure from the bottom obviously, cut two inches, and then come in and cut one more. 
Now they're going to be longer than 11 inches, but to give myself some wiggle room, I don't cut them just at 11 inches. So I just leave them long like that. Okay, so this is how you attach your white strips on each side. I chose a fabric that has a print on it, so I just want to make sure that I get the right side. So I'm going to put the right sides together, just like you normally slow, and line them up. You can pin this if you need to. I usually don't because it's just lining up the two edges. So remember, I didn't trim it to 11 inches. You can... I just, just an extra step that I don't feel like I need to do. And then you're going to do it on the other side as well. Make sure my right sides get together. And line it up. You can just flip it over. You can use your rotary cutter if you want to, if you want to go over there. I just use my scissors and cl cut close by to it. Because once you start cutting it, you're going to trim those off anyway. Okay, so once you get your white strips on, you're going to need to press them open. So what I do is I lay it flat here and run the iron over. Super easy, I'm not pushing it, I'm not pressing it really hard and trying to distort the fabric. So just run it over, just like that, on both sides. So that way, it makes it flat, so when you put your two blue pieces on, it'll make it a lot easier. Okay, so we're gonna make the two and a half, two and a quarter inch square. This is just regular paper. So two and a quarter. All right, and then you're going to cut that into a diagonal like that. And then you're going to adhere it to the back of your ruler. Okay, just put a piece of tape on it and put it on the back. All right, so the reason for that is so you can take your X block right here and line up that triangle to the edge of the white and the edge of the bottom right there. And you're going to trim it. You're going to do the same thing on the other side, line them both up that in on the white okay line them both up trim it on both sides there so you have this So once you've done your X's on each side, you'll take your six and a half inch square and make it into triangles. Then you're going to put right sides together like you usually do. All right. This is where it got a little tricky for me. And since I've done so many, I've kind of figured it out. So come on in here. So I've lined them up but I have my muslin foot right here. So I'm gonna stick this underneath here with my quarter inch foot, lift open my channel, I guess you'd call it right there, and then just run it through. And then we're gonna do the same thing 
on the other side. So I'm going to put the right sides together and flip it over. All right. Try to center it the best you can. It really doesn't matter if it's the best centered. But flip open that, that seam right there. Put your foot down. That way you're not trying to sew over that seam and your foot fighting you when you do it. So you can just glide across there. So I've sewn both of those. And so I'm going to take this over to my iron. And then I'm going to press it flat like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to then square this block up. It's going to be seven and a half inches. So it can kind of get tricky for some people. So what I do is I already know that this is going to be a right angle. So I am going to read my... Make sure it's lined up right there. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is line it up seven and a half here. All right. On the top and the bottom there. Cut this side, then I'll line it up here and at the top, seven and a half, seven and a half. Make sure my bottom's looking good as well. And there you have it. So once you have your blocks together, I think this quilt is going to be a lot easier to put together in four and then four and then four and then put those together as, as opposed to putting them all in lines and then trying to match those up. So what you're going to need to remember is that this seam is going to need to match up. So when you go to sew it, what you're going to need to do is make sure that it matches up right there. So if you're a pinner, great. If you're not a pinner, I would probably pin and pin that seam right there so you know that it's going to match up. Okay, so let's take it over here. So, we're just going to need to make sure that we have those lined up. So, we'll go through here. Put a quarter inch foot in still. So, I am not a fan of sewing over pins. So, we're going to take that out. Still making sure that I'm lined up. And then we'll have our second one here. And that way if you pin, you just remember that which which side you're needing to sew on to. Because I like to do this quilt. Doing everything on it. Do all of your piecing first, all, then all your white parts, and then all your blue parts, trim up, iron, and be good to go. So, cut it out there, take it, open it up, you're going to flip it, you're going to want to nest your seams. So nesting your seams means you put it in there, 
Make sure one goes one way and one goes another, all right? Like I said, if you're not a pinner, I'd probably still pin anyway. Makes it a little bit easier. So we're making sure our middle's together. Then we're gonna to wanna to make sure that our white is lined up, okay? So we've got that seam lined up. Let me grab another pin here. We're going to pin at the other white just to make sure that when we sew, it comes out the way we want it to. And you can run some more pins across the top of the sides. However, you feel comfortable. Yeah. And you can, you could have definitely um, take this and press it back open. It's just, I've got so many of them to make that it, it really wasn't worth the extra hassle for me. But. My sides are lined up really, really well. Take it and open it up. Press it, and there you go.